when I mention the name Galileo, do you think of telescopes and astronomy? Well, I'm sure you do. That's how we know Galileo. But he also did a lot of work on pendulums. I tell my students how important daydreaming is. And as a matter of fact, Galileo was sitting in church one day daydreaming, looking up at the candle chandeliers above him, and he noticed that the chandeliers with longer rope were moving more slowly back and forth in the breeze than the chandeliers that were attached to the ceiling with shorter lengths of rope. And because of his observation, he did a lot of obser uh, studies on pendulums. And that's what this pendulum wave is based on. You'll see that the thread at this end of the pendulum is shorter than the thread at this end. And that's what allows the beads, even though they're at the same horizontal level, when I push them back, they go into the S serpentine S curve, and then they do the cha-cha-cha, and then they go back into the serpentine S curve. Now if you look on YouTube, you will see a couple different models of pendulum waves. I've seen one that's made out of pool balls and one that's made out of big wooden balls, and they're so much fun to watch. And they're also very big. So I wanted to make a pendulum wave that would fit on a coffee table or a desk. So I made these out of beads and presentation board. There we go. Let's try that again. There. Now you can watch. These are black and white glass beads and then crystals and rainbow beads anchoring the thread in place along the top. And then let me show you another model that I made. My students love these. They play and play with them. And they're so much fun. There. Look at that. Those are crystals. There the, it goes into the S-curve and then the cha-cha-cha. And then back into the S-curve. Let's do it again. There. S-curve. Cha-cha-cha. Uh -huh. And then the S-curve. These are put together in a way that when you get them at home, if you order one and you get it at home, they come flat. They come flat like this. Both sides come off and then you just put them back together. So the, the thread and the beads are all permanently attached in just the right proportion to allow the beads to go back and forth at the right speed that makes the S-curve and the cha-cha-cha motion. So now you know a little bit more about Galileo. Thanks for playing. Have a good day.